And welcome back to Keep On Testing. Today we're checking out something really cool. It's the brand new Finercy LC1020E LCR meter. And let me tell you, this little thing might just change the game for hobbyists and semi-pros. Hey, if you love testing components, chasing precision, or just want a slick new tool for the bench, this one is definitely worth sticking around for. Big shout out to Banggood. Thanks so much for sending the little Finercy LC1020E in for this review. Woohoo! Oh, I never get tired of that guy. I gotta tell you, I really like my LCR meters. You know, when it comes to inductance, capacitance, and resistance, the sky is the limit. We have so many choices nowadays. It's uh, amazing, really, compared to, you know, not that long ago, LCR meters were expensive, kind of clunky, and uh, yeah, expensive. So thank goodness for 2025 hey it's almost 2026 and the fact that we have some great lcr meters that don't break the bank okay enough me yark and here we go this is from finercy handheld the lc 1020e nice box as always look at that 2.8 inch display capacitance resistance inductance 100 kilohertz uh, wow let's just open this box and see what is inside and look at that really nicely wrapped protected furnace always does a top-notch job when it comes to packing packaging so here we go a set of test pens lc clip kit data cable lcd shorting plate and a user manual it's telling us exactly what is in that box and lo and behold there's everything test cables the lcr cable the testing plate instructions and of course that always short USB-C cable so let's start off with that meter take it out of this really nice protective wrap has some good weight to it I gotta say it right off the get-go this is a hefty little guy oh nice nice rubber inlay here on the side that Frenercy Blue, which I really like. It's generally a good look and test instrument. All the buttons here are rubberized. And of course we have our plates down here. The high pot, the low pot, the guard, positive, negative, and once again, another guard input. And I really like these rubber grips here on the side. Very nice. And I gotta say, when LCR meters don't come with these, it's always a bit of a bummer. But uh, fear not, in this case, thank you, Finercy, for supplying us with one. And, oh, nice. Look, they've even covered with a, like a rubber plastic inlay just to protect those plates. Kelvin clips. Yeah, first impressions looks really nice. Wow, check it out. I gotta say, right out of the box, first impressions, this thing looks really, really sharp. Finercy went with that familiar blue and white aesthetic, and it's surprisingly solid in the hand. It does have some heft to it. The screen, look at that screen. Beautiful reverse EBTN, bright, crisp, easy to read, even under this harsh lighting. Man, oh man, plus that color display. Ooh, so much nicer than that old cheesy monochrome LCD stuff. No, no, already, I mean, I'm just looking at it now for the first time and already it feels like a winner. Hey, what exactly does an LCR meter do? Well, that's a really good question. It's designed to measure inductance, capacitance, and resistance. Hey, this one even does diode and transistor parameters. Basically, kind of like your electronic parts personal truth detector. Uh, you can test components with the alligator test leads that are included, or you can go ahead and just stick them right into those slots like so. Uh, I mean, hey, drop in a mystery part, hit test, and boom, you'll know what kind of component you're looking at. Hey, it's super handy when you're sorting parts from the junk bin, etc. I think every, every DIYer, hey, everybody in electronics should have one LCR meter at least. Now, as always, you can use third-party Kelvin clips. One thing I've noticed with this particular meter is that it don't have a good solid connection with that Kelvin. Now, I thought initially this was perhaps something related to the Finercy Kelvin clips, but I have another pair of Kelvins from another manufacturer. And, uh, you know, 
same thing, still really, really loose. So for whatever reason, those Kelvins are not in there very snug. No doubt there's a bevy of LCR meters out there to match every budget and taste. You've got that expensive Stanwa, which is really top of the line. That midterm Unity, which is a great meter. Here's a homemade kit, like 20 bucks or so off AliExpress. And our trusty old LCR that's been around forever. So lots of goodness out there. But today we're looking at, of course, the Finercy. Different components usually you should test at different frequencies. Let's say small capacitors, uh, you know, those tiny microfarad and lower tend to be used at higher frequencies. So ideally, you want to test them around one kilohertz or more. A similar consideration applies for inductors. A small inductor is below, let's say, one millihenry or so. Definitely, you want to measure those at one kilohertz or higher as they're often used in audio frequencies, RF apps, what have you. So having that range of frequencies, definitely a bonus when it comes to multiple component testing. In this case, we're going to start off with a 1.50 Henry inductor and i've got it plugged into that unity as we speak look at that 1.5 henry's and i've got it right into those build plates i'm not using tweezers or leads just directly into the meter like so that way we're cutting out the middleman right i'm going to do the same thing now with the furnace let's go ahead and put it into those plates and we are in the furnace and we are coming at 1.4 seven no 1.45 henry so a little bit lower uh, than the unity and this has been tested at 1.5 with multiple meters so a little on the low side for some reason with the finerci here i've got 150 micro henry inductor 50 148 Okay, it's settling at 148. Now, one thing in terms of the settling, again, with this meter, you do have an option to uh, speed up those readings if you want. Just hit that speed button, and we can go here. You see, we're now at medium speed, fast. If you need fast component testing, or back to slow for the highest accuracy. Take a little bit longer, but, I mean, if you're not testing a lot of components, that's the one I would definitely recommend. And we're sitting at 147 micro Henry right now with that inductor. 147 let's compare that now to the unity same thing right in there coming in slightly higher at 149.6 micro henry and once again these are rated at 150 micro henry now as always i'm going to bring up my sanwa this is the king of lcr meters as far as i'm concerned and i'm going to take that same inductor 147 149 let's see what the sanwa is going to say shall we Plug it directly into the plates on the Sanwa. 150.5 micro Henry. So Sanwa, looks like you nailed it once again. You just got your brand new shiny black and blue Finerci LCR meter. Well, first thing you gotta do is calibrate it by G's. So a calibration involves your little calibration or short tool here. So you're gonna insert that short tool in like so. Now we are ready for calibration. So hold down on the OK button, bring us into the main menu like so. Once we're in the main menu, we wanna scroll down to calibration. Also have a system setting. If we go into that, it just tells us what model we have, version number 1.1, yada, yada. Now you can download the firmware for your Finerci. This is a good thing. Okay, let's just get out of here. All right, back into calibration, hit the OK button, and we have our shorting tool in the high and low, and we're going to start a calibration. So remember, before entering the calibration function, you want to make sure that you have shorted already the two plates. In this case, we're using the shorting piece that the meter ships with. Okay, once you've done that, press the OK button to start the calibration, like so, and it is now performing a calibration. Once the calibration is complete, we're going to see something that says complete, I hope. Uh, should show up sooner rather than later. And after the calibration is finished, we're going to hold that OK button and uh, that'll be it. Calibration. So right now it's calibrating. Let's see how long this takes. So far we're at around 10 seconds or so. Usually shouldn't take more than about 20 seconds. Let's see. First time I've calibrated it, so uh, 
this particular meter. So let's see what happens. I will not hum because that can be really annoying. And it's finished. Look at that. That didn't take long, about 20 seconds or so. So once it's finished, hold down on that OK button for two or three seconds. It takes us back to the main screen. Hold down and on it again. And your LCR meter is now calibrated. Oh, groovy. Take out that shorting plate like so. And you are ready for LCR business. Another one of the cool features of this Fenersi is the sorting feature. A good LCR meter will have a sorting feature, which allows you to test a bevy of components, usually the same value, and you want to earmark a certain tolerance that you deem acceptable. And it's not that hard to do. There is a little bit of setup involved, but once it's set up, you're good to go. This case with the Fenersi, once again, hold down on that OK button and bring us into the main menu. And look at that. First at the top is the sorting function. So we're just going to hit OK. And there is our basic sorting GUI. So we have our normal and we have our tolerance. So if we're testing a component that is one kilo ohm and we have 5% tolerance, of course, those settings would be perfect. In this case, I'm going to be testing the tolerance of a bunch of resistors. Now I picked up this little El Cheapy set on Amazon and you can see here we've got a 1% uh, tolerance on these resistors. So I am going to pull out a uh, package of the one mega ohm 25 pieces here, plus or minus 1%. Here we go. So, you know, this way we know if we're getting our money's worth or if we're being shystered, right? So I've got it set right now to 5% tolerance. I'm going to bring that tolerance down to match that 1%. So 1% tolerance, 1 mega ohm resistor. We have the warning set up, we have the volume set up, and we have the illuminated LED uh, that will be flashing if we are out of tolerance. That's the LED right there. So, hey, we are good to go. Okay, so previously we went into the sorting settings and we set our parameters, 1 mega ohm resistors with 1% tolerance. Now, how do you actually sort? Well, in the manual, it's not very clear. So you've got to hold down on the hold button, like so. And voila, look at that. Look at that. So we are in sorting mode. One mega ohm resistor, 1% tolerance. I've done a few already. You can see I'm up to count of five. I just grabbed one here. I have no idea what this resistor is. I'm going to drop it into that plate like so. And it's now measuring that resistor. And you see that flashing red LED telling us that, no, that is not in tolerance. It's not a good one. Oh, let's see if we can find a good one. Here we go. One more time. Another resistor. Will it be within that 1% tolerance? It is thinking. And yes. 0.998 of a mega ohm. We have that OK, which is a good thing. Super simple to use. One more. Same thing. Stick it right into those plates like so. And it's thinking. And this one is... NG, which is no good. And we have that red flashing LED. So once it's set up, you can see how super easy it is to sort your components with the little Fenersi. Quick teardown time on the main PCB of the little LCR. Uh, printed circuit board, there you go in that gorgeous Fenersi black, which we have come to expect and love. Uh, on board here, we have the microcontroller, the DSP that drives measurement functions, uh, the display, the UI, all that good stuff. And likely inside, we've got one of those ADC plus microcontrollers, uh, given the fact that this is an LCR, ESR type measuring meter. Um, what else do we have in here? Probably a bridge circuit, a precision AC source for the test frequencies, 100 hertz, 120, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, uh, measurement amplifier, sensing network, uh, specs calling out these frequencies. So we're going to have all these microcontrollers on board. Down here, of course, we have our Kelvin 4 wire uh, terminals for those hotspots. And we have some really nice work as well here in terms of overall quality control. As well at the top here, we have that 2.8 inch TFT color display uh, ribbon cable. Uh, on the other side is the display, of course, a dual parameter display. And 
power supply. Where is that battery? Over here, my friends, connected by that little two pin connector, we have a nice 3000 milliamp power rechargeable lithium battery. And I gotta say, the overall battery usage on here has been exemplary, man. This thing has lasted hours. Like, I probably had it online at least a good eight hours, and that battery level indicator has not budged. So, I don't know what's going on for Nursey, but it has got some stupendous battery life over here of course we have that usb-c type charging port uh, the regulators to provide the, the appropriate voltages for the digital and the analog and i'm sure we have some reverse polarity down here as well all in all great uh build quality as always uh top notch by finercy hey remember you know it's not a four or five hundred dollar meter We're talking about a hundred bucks all in all so given that i think they've done a really stand-up job with the build quality Okay, let's put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Finerci LCR meter extraordinaire. Well, what can I say? This has been a pretty darn impressive device. It's got a wide measurement range, decent accuracy, and you can't love that USB-C port for charging. Man, finally, no more random barrel plugs. No. I love rechargeable meters. Hey, refresh rate is pretty quick. Display updates in real time. You can actually see the values change as you're moving components around or as they warm up. You know, that's a nice feature. Battery build quality, what's to expect? Hey, right? Battery life is amazing. As I mentioned during the review, this thing just rocks. Battery seems to go on forever and you're not burning through those AAA batteries. That is a good thing. Build wise, solid plastic, nice buttons. Got that tilt stand, which is a bonus for LCR meters, because a lot of them don't have one. You know, you can tell Finercely really took a few ideas from those higher end meters and incorporated them into their LCR meter. In terms of cons, well, hey, nothing's perfect. Except me, of course. Just kidding. Hey, the test leads are okay. They're not amazing. And yeah, I wish the uh, Calvin clips would grip a little bit tighter. You know, I don't like that loosey goosey kind of thing going on. But what can I say? Accuracy wise, still not as good as that laboratory grade Sanwa, what have you, or the higher end Unity, no, but they're getting close. Getting close. Still for the price, I'm not gonna complain. Finercy, LCR. LC1020E gets a solid four out of five stars. Hey, this is a pretty darn good LCR meter. I love that sorting capability. And all in all, this little thing is definitely worth it on the bench. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this take on the Finerci LC1020E. If you found this review helpful, you know what I gotta do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment below if you want me to pick this up against, hey, maybe a DE5000 or who knows what. Till the next one, keep on testing.